name is Justin Bacon, and I am a student here at the Auburn University School of Agriculture. I am studying turf grass management to be more specific and hope to earn a job on a golf course one day where I can either maintain or design one. Throughout the two years that I have been studying at Auburn, in my classes, I have found that the use of pesticides on golf courses and in other agriculture practices are deadly and can cause cancers and other diseases as well. It's pretty interesting to learn about what is being put into our foods as well as the fields and how it can affect our health. The food industry in America is run by multi-million dollar companies and they will stop at nothing in order to sell food. On top of that, most golf courses and fields are privately owned, making it hard to stop them from using pesticides. History has shown many poisoning and cancers that have happened to consumers. There are a lot of activist groups already helping, but I would like to show you what to do. Ultimately, the use of pesticides on food and field areas are bad for humans. As a country, we need to change these practices. Before I begin, I'd like to give a quick history. Pesticides use has been occurring since around World War II when many countries started to develop them for war products. Since then, the United States has used many chemicals and pesticides that are very deadly on lawns, food, and other grassy areas. Golf courses are seen as unnatural landscapes because of all the effort that is put into them in order to make them so perfect. Many courses spray applications of pesticides that are not necessary and cause health problems to the players, workers, and even nearby animals. In a study that was published by the Attorney General of New York, they found that course superintendents had higher morality rates of specific cancers because they worked on the fields. Many of these pesticides are used to kill insects, weeds, rodents, and other pests. But in doing so, they can cause cancers and birth defects in humans. It is known that courses use pesticides, but it is scary to think that the farmers where we get these food, our food from do it as well. Although there is not a lot of research about long-term pesticide effects on health and food, according to the World Organization of Health, when talking about pesticide use on food, they suggest that coming into contact with large amounts of pesticides could affect reproduction and potentially be a cause of cancer. The use of pesticides in food is a scary thought, considering that we eat every day and knowing that it can be contaminated is not something that is easy to cope with. Although I do see why pesticides are needed in the agricultural world, I believe that we need to stop using them as a whole to better our environment. It is a scary thought and that is why we need to take action. I think that everyone should have their own personal garden in which they grow fruits and vegetables in order to provide at least a little something for themselves. I had a garden for three years in high school and would only eat vegetables and fruits from there during the harvesting time of that year. If everyone had a personal garden, there would be less need for pesticides being used and applied on larger fields because we would not need to mass produce food as much. Although this is a stretch, I strongly believe that it could work and help keep pesticides out of our waters, plants, and food. Gardening is a useful skill that can help save the world. With one garden at a time, the earth would be a better and healthier place.